Okay, so we're going to work on practicing balancing equations. What we're going to do here in this space up here is just write some hints. These are things that I've gone over in class before and that I want you to remember while you're working through these. I recommend printing out this sheet. It's right on, there's a link for it right online um, next to the video. You can print this out. You can try them all first and then watch uh, me review them. You could try them one at a time. It doesn't matter how you want to handle it. Uh, just keep in mind that you can hit pause anytime you want on the video. All right, so let's get going. First one, we've got 1K, 1K, 1CL, 1CL, and then we have a 3 and a 2. And one of the hints that I said was whenever you have a 2 and a 3 or 3 and a 2, always try to make the grand total 6. So I'm going to make this oxygen 6 by putting a 2 in front, and this oxygen is going to be a 6 by putting a 3 in front. Now that 2 will also affect the potassiums and the chlorines, so I want to have two of these guys over there. So 2, 2, and the 3. The next one, we've got 1 nitrogen, one, two nitrogens. So we're going to put a two here. It might not be what we end with, but right now let's just put a two there. So then we go to the hydrogens. There's two hydrogens here. We've got only one here, so we want to put a two there. So that was two hydrogens. But that also affected my nitrogens. Now I have two nitrogens there and only one there. So I've got a grand total of three. I need three nitrogens over here, so I'm going to put a three there. I'm going to change that two to a three. So another hint is to use pencil and expect to make changes to what you think you, you uh, have correct. All right, so we've got three nitrogens, one, two, three nitrogens. That's good. We've got two hydrogens, two hydrogens, and let's count up our oxygens. Three times two is six plus one. That's seven oxygens. Over here, we have one oxygen plus two times three is six. One plus six is seven. So I'm all balanced. Three, imaginary one, imaginary one, and then a two. Next one, one lithium, two lithiums. So I'm going to fix that by putting a two there. Another hint, by the way, we want to do oxygen last. When you can, try to do oxygen last. Things will work out a little bit easier there for you. All right, so we've got two oxygens here, only one there. You know law of conservation of mass. You can't start with two and only end with one. So we're going to put a two here. Now we can end with two oxygens. And we've got four lithiums to start with. Oops, where'd we go? All right. Next up, polyatomics. Another, another hint is when you see polyatomics and they show up on both sides, try to keep them together. If they split up, then you're going to have to treat them individually. But like right now, I don't have to worry about the N's separate from the O's. I can just say, this is nitrate. There's two of them. This is nitrate, there's only one of them, so I'm going to put a two in front. So now I have two nitrates on this side. We also have two sodiums, which is great because we got two sodiums right there. Here's another polyatomic ion, sulfate. Here's another one, sulfate, one and one. And barium, one barium, one, one uh, barium. So we're good. Everything is ones except for the two right here. One aluminum, one aluminum. Three chlorines, only one chlorine. So I'm going to put a three. That's also going to affect my silvers, so I want to have three silvers, so I'm going to put a three in front. And that also affects my nitrate. Now I have three sets of nitrate, because I have silver nitrate, silver nitrate, silver nitrate. So I have three nitrates. I could say one, two, three nitrogens and nine oxygens and treat them separately over here, but you know what? I've already got a three there, so I can just treat the nitrate as one big package. So when I'm done, it's imaginary one, three, three, imaginary one. Next one. Now I see, let's get rid of this mess. I see a, a polyatomic right away, and I'm actually happy when I see that because now I know I don't have to worry about those uh, elements individually. And I see hydroxide, and I look over here for a hydroxide, but there's not a hydroxide there. So now I do have to separate them, and I have to worry about my O's separate from my H's. So if you don't see a polyatomic ion on both sides, you got to start splitting it up. All right, so here we go. We got one sulfate, one sulfate. We'll do the big guys, magnesium, magnesium, and now let's worry about our H's and O's. H2, so there's two hydrogens there, and then we distribute. we got two sets of hydroxide, OH, OH, so that's two hydrogens. So 2 plus 2 is 4, so there's four H's to begin with. Oops. All right, four H's to begin with, and we want to end with four H's, so we put a 2 in front. That affects our oxygen. There's two oxygen here, and when we distribute this, there's two oxygen. So it's all balanced, except for that little two 
or when we put the little two there, I should say. All right, the next one. We're going to start with three carbons, three carbons, six hydrogens, three times two is six hydrogens. Then I worry about my oxygens. Here's another hint. When you have odds and evens, this side is even. No matter what I put here, multiply by two is always going to be even. This side, six, that's good, that's even, but three. Six plus three is nine. There's nothing I'm going to put here that's going to give me nine. So I have a situation where I have some odds and evens. When you have odd and even, odd on one side of the equation, even on the other, you have to double the odd. Find out who's making it odd and double it. And then it's going to start off a chain reaction. So watch this. Here's my odd situation. Three times one is three. Three oxygens, that's odd. So I'm going to double it and I'm going to make the three is six. Now watch it, what that does to everything else. Six times two is 12. I'm going to put a two here. Two times six is 12. I basically doubled my imaginary one. Now, two times three is six carbons. So I don't want three. I want six, so I double that. And then let's take a look at our totals for our oxygens again. Now we have six times two is 12 oxygens. And six times one is six. 12 plus six is basically the double of nine, 18. So then what do I put here? A nine. So two, nine, six, six. And the last one, this is a tough one. If you could do this one, then you're good. There's gonna be a ton of corrections, like things that you thought were good, then you have to change them and so forth. So this one, please use pencil on. And like I said, if you can do this one, you're good to go. All right, here we go. Nitrogen, nitrogen. There's two nitrogens, two nitrogens over here. That looks good. Three hydrogens, only two hydrogens. When you have a two and a three, try to make them six. So I put a three here and a two here. Now that's going to affect our uh, nitrogens. So now we have two nitrogens plus one nitrogen. That's a grand total of three nitrogens. Over here, we have just two. So we have a two and a three, but we had to add to get to the three. It's not just like saying it's N3 and N2. That you would say, let's make them six. This is an example of one of these guys, this one, is making it odd. So I'm going to double that to make it even. So I'm going to put a two over here for now. Write small, write light, write in pencil, because we're going to change that. All right, so anyways, I put a two here. So now I have two nitrogens plus two nitrogens. That's four nitrogens, so let's put a two here. <coughs> Excuse me. That also affected our oxygen. Two times one is going to be two oxygens. Three times one is three. Now I have a two and a three, so let's make them six. So let's make this guy, uh, let's turn this into a six. So I have six oxygen. And over here I want to get six oxygen, so I'm going to make that a three. So now I have, I'm sorry, make that a six, my bad. So watch what that does to my nitrogen now. Now I have six nitrogen here, and over here I have two times uh, one is two, six plus two is eight, and over here I want to get eight, so I put a four there. Now what happened to my hydrogen? Six times two is 12. Over here, two times three is not 12, it's only six. I got to get this to equal 12. So I'm going to get rid of my two. I'll get rid of all this because things are going to change. All right, so I'm going to turn this into a four because four times three is 12. So I got 12 hydrogens and over here I have 12 hydrogens. Then I worry about my nitrogens. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, nitrogens. So four times one is four nitrogens plus six times one is six. That's 10 nitrogens. I want 10 nitrogens over here. So I originally thought that that four was good. Now I realize it's not. So I put a five here. That's 10 nitrogens. And then finally, oxygens, six oxygens, six oxygens. So six O and six O. And now it's balanced. So that was a crazy one. If you can do that, you're good to go. But notice that was a lot of trial and error. So this could be my last hint to you that, you know what, try something. But just know that you always have to go back and fix what you, or at least check what you originally thought was correct and make sure it still is. All right, so you got lots of practice. You have some stuff in your notes. You have practice sheets. Go back through those, see if you can do them. You can always look online for more practice if you need it.